You see? The markings of the Ancient Ones. The Isu. The gods of the Gat of Gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. I have passed through this doorway once before. At Sigurd. In a dream. Not once. A thousand times. A thousand. What does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... ...fogged. Shadowed. And yet I... ...I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... ...I see the grey tree of life... ...her boughs reaching... ...skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basin. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come. King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers. Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. <laughs> Return to your singing subjects, then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not till your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer to exchange, Lord. You can serve, serve, serve. Please, no. no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours, to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl. I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred. Wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke. Are you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man we need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I'll gut you, troll woman! Hush! I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith that the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care.
the guards, Basim. What was that? I will shatter them. They shall not get away. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenifordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there, on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order that Basim and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor. What has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. I want to see the Alliance map. So Chael Bet has traveled to Sherapshire. He has, into a difficult situation. The Shire has been mired in a long war with Rodri, King of the Britons. Sheolbert hopes to negotiate a peace with the Britons of the West. A difficult task for one so green. I hope your tutelage has prepared him well. Indeed. But I think it best if you supervise these talks. If Sheolbert can make this work, we will gain a valuable alliance. I will make my way to Shirupshire. I am relieved. He and Ivar should be in Quatford just now. You will find it along the F and Hafun River. If Ivar is with him, I will certainly be needed.
Save it for later. Good sailing wind here, Eivor. Go, Zulin. Nettle and turnips. It's all I could find. I can out drink it all, Rock. Step up. Heavy sea me that it shall be. Not with rather null and alcan fakes anyway. So we will soon then move. So does that here. Come on, boy. Not half bad, boy. But be fierce. Dirty. 
Strike it, my boss! Ivar, are you training the boy or tormenting him? One will lead to the other in time. Eivor, well met. You received my message, and just in time. Our negotiations with the Britons have not yet begun. I will be at your side when they do. Is there anything I should know first? The venerable King Rodri is here. I am to deal with him directly. Rodri is desperate for peace. Ever since we captured his sniveling brother, Goriad. Sounds like a man coughing up snot. Goriad ap Mervin. Rodri waits at the church nearby. Who speaks for Shirapshire in these talks? The last elderman was killed in battle. Bishop Dealov is standing in. Until we get this wet whelp installed. That is his father's wish. I find the idea of leading a shire on my own quite... quite terrifying. It is a grave thing to be elderman in the time of war, Jelbert. He will piss his pants first thing, that's for certain. As future elderman, you should speak in the talks as well. But with humility. Rodri is a king, and will expect to be treated as one. Rodri will want us to get down on our knees and sniff the rosy wind blowing from his ass. I know the man. You've met him? Met him, fought him. He gave me this nick here. Maybe I can give him one back. Remind him some call me King Killer. It may be you should stay behind, Ivar. That is not a recipe for a good parley. I'd like you both to be there. To guide me, to judge my fitness. Give us your word, then. Your blade stays in its sheath. Eivor, don't make me laugh. We both know what my word is worth. But sure, I will let you do the talking. Probably. Excellent. Now, to the church, I think. Our guests await. It's not far, just across the village. We've been at war with the Britons for coming on two years. The Britons had the best of it. Tell me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why Rodri's talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Eva. What has become of your preening brother? Oh, my brother. He parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. <laughs> Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ. They are all so hard and cold. Yet within his warmth, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Britain! Captain O'Neill, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dealov, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar. The one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. My lord, this is Jailbelt, the future elderman of this shire and the son of King Chailwolf of Mercia. This green stripling? Elderman? You can piss without help, boy. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. 
First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me, I do not know you well. But Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be older yet. Eivor, my friend. I asked around, as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? Your silver is in the hands of one who wants it most. Now pray to your god it does some good. Rodri, I see you mocking me! I challenge you! Single Ivar, no! Now! Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me! A dragon will be my death, as my seers have foretold. And your brother? Does your destiny guard him? Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get them to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Oh, easy. Enough. Eva! What are you doing? Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva! You have scuppered the peace! Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. We have no choice now but to fight our way out of this. Ah! A good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Chilbert. You watch my back and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord, stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door!
Bishop Dale up know that the battle is done. You did yourself proud, Adeling. This was not a battle we needed, Ivar. When you are king, Jailbird, you won't need battles. You will crave them. You murdered Rotary's brother, you beast! Our one chance at peace is lost. Peace with Rotary is as likely as you dying a virgin, Bishop. It won't happen. He is too canny, too vile. You nearly got Jailbird killed. You boneless flap of leather! Ah, the diplomat speaks what he really feels. Fail us again, son of Ragnar. And I will send you back to Repton without your limbs. What's done is done. We must plan our next moves before the Britons regroup. They will retreat to their great castle for certain. It's well nigh impregnable. Then we starve them out. Attack their supplies. Watch them beg for death. Dear God, more death, more war, endless refugees. This is our only way forward, dear love. You know the territory best. How can we hurt them? Well, for food and supplies, they stockpile cargo at Wenlakan outpost, down south of Quatford. Rodri has another secret supply line. Ask among the refugees near the river, those who have fled from occupied villages. Rodri's Britons will strike back long before we can. Indeed. They will send Anir and his soldiers. They train in Wesbury, west of the ruined tower. You do not need me to hold your hand, Eivor. I will head to Wesbury. Scout around. I know your method of scouting. It always leads to swordplay. I am as regular as Tidewater. I shall go with you, if only to get an honest accounting of our situation. I will meet you both at Wesbury, then, once I've done some damage. Until then... One last thing. We'll need a field before our battle's done. Try to free any captives you find. They'll swell our ranks.
Friend or foe? Friends, peace. I was told you might know where the Britons bring in their supplies. Are we your friends, Dane? I would have it so. After years of blood and gore, looting and burning, forgive us if we don't trust a Dane. In Rodri, we share a common enemy. My only wish is to destroy his supply line and bring him to the table, begging for a truce. Once we have peace, you and your kin will no longer walk this land in wretchedness. What you say is good sense. Very well, Dane. Here's what I know. The Britons move their goods through Duston Quarry. See that tower to the south? That's the Hillgate remnants. Further on, you'll find the Stone Quarry. And thank you. Heaven won't let me in. I'm stuck being dead. Be my eyes, Sunan. will be weakened in one piece.
Your death is the event, my friend. Rallati! Italy, boy! Get me out of this cursed chicken coop. Men for day on our side. God bless More you. valuable than cargo. I give you freedom. Now you give this shire your pike. I will.
quarry filled with Britain supply cards. Once I burn those, we'll push Rodri to peace. If they see me, this will get messy. Shirupshire needs you. Thank you. Spread your wings, Sunan. Did you hear what happened? Eva the bogus tried to cut our king. It's a lie. My father was heavily tangled with Rod G on the moon.
Do you see? The quarry and Wedlock are both done. That should shake Rotary to his senses. Now to Westbury, before Ivar causes more problems.